So, how many of you guys out there have your boat trailer with multiple lights, if not all the lights are out? In this video, I'm going to show you how to rewire a boat trailer, replace your side marker lights, and install new tail lights. So we have our, this is what we're going to be using for connecting to the vehicle. We have our seven pin harness. Now we have the seven pin adapter to a five pin flat pin adapter. And that's going to actually go to the tongue of the trailer. Then our next step is to hook our five pin flat connector to this connector here. And then the green and the brown will go down the starboard side of the trailer and the yellow and the brown will go down the port side of the trailer. Now, don't forget we have a blue wire and we also have the white wire. Now, the white wire is the trailer ground. Now, the blue wire, everybody forgets about the blue wire. The blue wire is for the trailer brake release. On this particular trailer, we have the hydraulic piston that's built inside here if you do not stick that blue wire on and when you go into reverse it will not release the actuator to release the brakes so when you go in reverse it's gonna lock down on the brakes so very important to make sure that we install that so we have the original light and what we're trying to do is we're going to actually replace it with something a little bit larger uh, I feel that uh, a larger reflector, you know, you could see it going down the highway a little bit better than this little thing. So we're going to attach the ground on the back side of the courtesy leg, just like that. Okay, so hope you guys can see this. We're on the port side of the trailer. So we have the yellow wire and we have the brown wire. This first indicator marker here is going to be a running light so it's going to be the brown wire so what i got to do is i actually got to split it uh, separated from the yellow wire so we're going to go ahead and split now be careful not to cut into the other wire what i like to do is the wires here i have it pulled a little snug here i'm actually going to pull back a little bit because i like to give it a, just a little bit of slack so down the road, a year down the road, we're going to have to replace this light again. So, I'm going to go ahead. I got the brown wire, which is the running lights wire. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And I'm going to go ahead and splice each end. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut just a little bit more off of this. Just not enough wire showing. Then I'm going to go ahead and tie those together. Make a little bit cleaner connection here. And then I'm going to use the heat shrink blue butt connectors. Now be careful when you guys crimp down on these. You can go through the plastic. We don't want to do that because then there's no purpose of actually having a rubber coated waterproof case in there. Make sure your crimps are good. Give it a little bit of tug. There you go, that's a perfect connection there. Shrink up. Careful not to burn the wire. And 
there we go perfect connection now I do have extra slack on here so what I like to do with these I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it up just a little bit we have our zip tie here I'm gonna go ahead and pull a little bit of slack here make the wiring look nice Zip tie on. Put it in a little hole here on this trailer. Tight. And there you have it. Okay, so one of the connections, uh, we actually have to extend the wire because um, we don't want to actually loop the trailer harness to come down this leg here. Uh, to this side marker and back. So we decided we were gonna go ahead and add a piece of wire, but we decided also to solder the wire in. So do that, we're gonna go ahead and splice back a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and splice that a little bit. You know. Did he shrink it? I need shrink it. Right, that, that is the one thing my brother just reminded me. We need to put heat shrink over just to protect it. Luckily, we do not connect this end until you actually add the shrink, re, uh, shrink wrap tube over the wire. So don't make that mistake. So my soldering gun's already heated up. We're gonna go ahead and just make sure that we are good there. Let's get that wire nice and hot. And boom, perfect connection. And shrink wrap. Thinking that tube there should be good. Go ahead and cut this to size. So what used to be a center light for this trailer is now gone. The only thing left is the rivet still there and we want to install this. Um, it has two wires on the back. It's a white and red one and we're going to actually run both. One is the ground, one is the power for the parking illumination. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill out. The rivets and we're going to install in self-tapping screws and run the wire over to the either the starboard or the port side tail lamps okay so on the port side of the trailer we're going to install the tail lamps so everybody understands there is a port side which has the clear lens underneath and there is the starboard side which does not the other way to figure that out is the port side is the yellow wire turn signal and the starboard side is the green wire turn signal now we're going to go ahead and splice in two wires now this is a little different because now we have the additional third wire which this wire is the ground so we're going to install the ground onto the actual stud as we install it onto the trailer bracket. We have our two wires that come in here, which is our yellow wire, which is our turn signal wire, and the brown wire, which is the parking lamp wire, and we're going to splice them in to the tail lamp themselves. Now, we are adding one extra thing. We have LED indicator lamps. Uh, the forward side is amber and the back side is red. So we're now ran the wires down the channel we ran them on the outside here and we have the two wires here so they are LED so they are positive and negative sensitive 
on these particular then this brand or this wire here the white tracer with the black black wire with the white tracer is the positive and the solid black is the negative so we need to install it correctly onto our harness and our grounding wire okay there's two ways of putting this ground wire on uh, some people like to put it on the inside I'm going to install it on the outside because I have to splice the additional ground I need off the side trailer marker. So I'm going to go ahead and install this, of course, this way. And before I do that, I'm going to throw it through the license plate bracket. We're lucky this bracket has the hole in it. So we're going to shoot the wires through the hole. And we're going to put the studs in here and do not forget to use the washers and the nuts so we're going to go ahead and cut that wire and we're going to splice it into the side marker lamp because that also needs the ground okay so on the joining grounds between our side marker and our tail lamp we're going to go ahead and tin the wire uh, just to give it that extra added protection Okay. okay, then we're going to go ahead and install that on that stud. Okay, so with the tail lamp already installed, we're gonna go ahead and bring the actual harness around. Now again, we like to leave a little extra slack in there for any type of future repairs if we need to cut back on the wire. Gonna go ahead and split the two wires just a little bit. And we have our brown wire and we have our side marker with the white tracer, which we wanted to connect that to our tail lamp or parking wire, parking light wire. I'm going to go ahead and also we're going to solder this together for a really good connection. And then we're going to go ahead and heat shrink them together because this section of the trailer constantly gets submerged in the salt water. And if we don't waterproof our connections well enough, it's only going to last a couple months. And last but not least, we don't forget the white wire, which is the ground. That grounds directly to the chassis of the trailer. Um, this one here has the bolt in the front here, so we're gonna go ahead and attach that. Adapter connected to the trailer. Connect into the harness and walking down, testing out our lights. Our side markers are now working very well. Just going back over the wiring. Each one now has a little slack, heat shrink, and or soldered. Well, I hope you uh, were able to take something from this video and was able to use it on your own boat trailer. Um, just let everybody know, uh, we did not forget the blue wire. Um, actually just forgot to record that section of the, of the trailer as we were working on it. So please leave any comments, uh, like and subscribe. Um, thanks a lot.